this project is back on. We've secured a sponsorship from World of Tanks for the next three episodes of The Power Loader, which means we also promised to have this thing moving around within those three episodes. I'm gonna have a chat with Matt Orland, co-founder of Megabots Incorporated. I'm gonna travel to British Columbia to meet with Jonathan Tippett. We're gonna use legs. Wait, you no. see yourself. No, we should be using legs. No, 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 we definitely need a leg. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of our Aliens Power Loader build, the project that has most of you wondering, are they still working on that? I know, I know, our upload schedule for this project has been sporadic, to say the least. We started at Christmas 2018 and worked on it for about half a year, and then stopped. Why? Well, because we got this awesome new facility, which arguably we kind of need for building a giant 10-foot mech. It wouldn't really have fit in the old garage. Then we started up again beginning of this year, 2020, a year for the record books. And obviously it got shut down again, along with the whole world. When the pandemic started, we had to send everyone to work from home. And as you can imagine, it's kind of hard to build a giant mech at home. So it got put on hold again. Now, the team has been back for about a month or so, but we've been hesitant to start this project again. As we mentioned, it's one of our most expensive endeavors ever. And like many businesses, we did take a pretty big financial hit due to the pandemic. Luckily, things in Canada are getting better, and I'm excited to say this project is back on. And we've secured a sponsorship from World of Tanks for the next three episodes of The Power Loader. World of Tanks is an epic, free-to-play, historically accurate war game that makes you feel like a real tank commander. Roll out across open fields, climb steep hills, tear across deserts, sneak through forests, and pick your battles in industrial zones. Devise your battle plan and rally your teammates to destroy the competition in over 40 battle arenas. This sponsorship means we also promised to have this thing moving around within those three episodes. The way I see it, we have two options. We can either build it just like the movie and give it giant hydraulic legs, or we can build it like the militarized version of the power loader, which is in both the comics and the video games. Now, both of these options are gonna be complicated, expensive, and difficult to do. So before we decide, I think we should talk to the experts of giant mech building. So I'm gonna to travel to British Columbia to meet with Jonathan Tippett, the founder, president, and CTO of Furion Exobionics in Vancouver. Let's go. Welcome to Furion Exobionics, where we're developing giant all-terrain mech suits using our advanced exoskeletal technology to bring you the next frontier in human skill. <sighs> so we're here at Cheek Eye Ranch with the Furion Racing Mech and Jonathan Tibbet. As you know, we're building the Aliens Power Loader. Yes, something I'm very excited about. And as the foremost leader in hydraulic mech, and hydraulic leg technologies in the world, I thought I'd ask you a few questions about how this thing even works and if it's even possible to build a bipedal power loader. Yes, it is possible. I can tell you, with our technology, we could do it. But it would take a while and it would take a few bucks. We opted for four legs in our journey to prototype this technology because it's just vastly easier to have four legs to work with. Exactly. It lets you lift one to take a step without falling over. It's a power loader. It's supposed to pick up and carry things like a forklift. So even if you can balance on two legs, what happens when you then take a load? Your center of gravity shifts and suddenly you have to walk in a completely different way. We, one of the drills that we've evolved to after three years of training and development is trying to balance on two legs, even with this simplified machine. If you were to embark upon trying to make a bipedal walking machine of that scale, it would be a significant R&D project. There's a reason they put treads on things. So anyway, I'm already here. Think I can uh, take it for a spin? Oh, you want to get trained up in this beast? Well, yeah, I, I think this would probably be our my best bet at learning how to pilot a hydraulic mech. Yeah, absolutely, man. I mean, this will give you the sort of initial sense of what it's like to be that high and to have command of that kind of heavy machinery at, at the tips of your fingers. So, yeah, we'll strap you in here. We'll strap awesome. you in here. You heard it here first. Make sure you subscribe to Furion Exobionics. I've linked it in the description below because I'm going to be learning how to pilot this thing and walk it around. Thanks, Jonathan. Hey, good luck, man. I can't thank wait. You. Big thank you to our sponsor, World of Tanks, for bringing this project back to life. In addition to being completely free to play, you can become the best with skill and practice. It's accessible to all players online, from novices to pros. You'll have a blast with the other 100 million players who share the same passion for tank warfare. New players can use the code TANKTASTIC to get a T127 tank, 500 gold, and seven days premium access. Just click on my link below to get World of Tanks absolutely free. 
While James is in Vancouver interviewing Jonathan Tibbet, it's my turn to travel down to San Francisco and meet with Matt Orlin, co-founder of Megaboss Incorporated. Just kidding. Thanks a lot, pandemic. Looks like I'm going to be doing a Zoom call instead. Hey Matt, thanks for taking the time to speak with us today. Yeah, my pleasure. So as you may or may not know, we here at Hacksmith Industries are currently building an Aliens power loader. We've got the upper body built and now we're trying to figure out what to do for the lower body. And as far as I understand, you guys went through the same decision with your two robots. Yeah, I mean, plain and simple, we went with Trax because it's sort of a proven mode of locomotion. You can buy off the shelf components and you can basically get your robot operating and moving much more quicker than spending the resources to get legs working. It's very, very difficult to make a uh, walking robot that is dynamically stable. We're really YouTubers and we make entertainment. We're not Boston Dynamics, right? We can't spend the next 10 years developing a custom motion system uh, to get this robot to, to move. What about treads? Yeah, the main difficulty with treads is it doesn't look as cool, which is a detriment when you're building an entertainment company. They do allow um, an easy mode of control because really there's just two actuators and you make both actuators go forward when you want to go forward and you can apply them in opposite directions when you want the robot to pivot. We did get the performance we were looking for in our track system for the robot to be able to navigate most standard environments, a little bit of hills and be able to pick up and interact with cars. So. Um, I would call the, our treads on Eagle Prime a success. So in conclusion, if you were building the power loader, what do you think would give us the absolute best mobility for our money? I wouldn't even look at doing legs. I would go straight to tracks. You're gonna get the most power, the most simplicity and capability for your money. All right, Matt. Well, thanks for taking your time to talk with us about uh, legs versus treads. Um, I wish you all the best. What's, uh, what's next in line for Megabots? We're still building big crazy things on the Megabots YouTube channel. And I've got some collaborations with Jorg from the Slingshot channel. Hello and welcome to the Slingshot channel. <laughs> where we're doing some projectile launching weapons as well. So what you're saying is that once the power loader is done, you're gonna give us everything we need to militarize it. I think we might have something for you. Awesome, awesome. All right, well, best of luck on that and hope to talk to you again soon. All right, thanks a bunch, Bogdan. All right, so I talked to Jonathan from Furion Exobionics. And I talked to Matt from Megabots. And based on our research, we've compiled the following pros and cons list. And now we know without a doubt what we're going to use for the power loader. We're going to use treads. Wait. You no, say yourself, no, though, we should be using legs. No, 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 we definitely need okay. legs. But the like if we, if, if, if we don't legs, do legs, they're going to complain. More. I, okay, but, but you know what? I'd rather get the project done and actually have it move than be really unstable and really expensive. Just kidding. We actually decided on tank treads a long time ago, pretty much at the beginning of the project, because there are just way too many caveats with using hydraulic legs. And if you were paying attention... So to try and help fund the build, I've designed a new t-shirt that I think you guys are really, really going to like. Anyway, the real question here is, where are we going to get treads from? I'm on it. Eh. I don't think these are the tracks we're looking for. What a weird tank, it doesn't have treads. Hey, hey guys, do you, do you guys know where treads are? Did I mention World of Tanks has a huge arsenal of tanks, including artillery, light tanks, heavy tanks, and medium tanks, just like this one? There's over 550 different tanks to try out. Use my code TANKTASTIC to get a special bonus in-game. Try World of Tanks today using my link below. Back to you, Bogdan. That's perfect! Why did I wait here? All right, all right, I got it, I got it, okay? We're gonna use the treads from a compact track loader. That could work, but how much is that going to cost me? 
About a quarter of what legs would have. Eh, I guess that's, I guess that's good. Basically, we get our skid steer, get rid of this. We're not gonna need that bucket anymore. Don't need that. Bam, we've got our track base. And then we take our power loader, get rid of the legs. A little bit of super glue. Stick that right on there. And bam, we've got our tracked power loader. All right, it looks like we have our work cut out for us. In the next episode, we're gonna have to buy a Bobcat, strip it down, and start designing for our power loader with tank treads. Plus, since it's sponsored by World of Tanks, we're also gonna be mounting a cannon to it and driving it around like a remote-controlled tank. If you guys wanna help support this project and our channel, check out hacksmith.store to buy our awesome t-shirt.